Deshaun, how are you today? How are things going? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, I've already binged through season two because I could not stop watching. So congratulations. Yes. <laughs> I just love this show so much. What I love so much, too, is Daniel is kind of standing up for himself a little bit more this season. How, how are you enjoying that? Oh, I really, I really loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, uh, even more uh, turning up the heat. Um, you know, he's saying things that other people aren't saying, and he's changing his vocabulary about it, which I think is uh, something that's so true to form um, as a, you know, as, as a black man and someone who, you know, empathize and, you know, 100% advocates for the thing that things that Daniel is advocating for. It was really cool to sort of express just how much we have to get uh, smarter about putting language to power. And yes. we see that in Daniel and uh, we get to see a bit more of his commitment and also his vulnerability, right? He gets a little bit more vulnerable and it's, we, sh we, we, we see the sort of repercussions that are going on with him uh, in this battle for, uh, for, 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 for representation and equality. Yes, and we also get a musical number from him. Okay, were you a little bit nervous about that? I'm not giving away anything. I'm just saying, just saying. <laughs> uh, was I nervous about that? Yes, I was nervous about it. I was nervous about it because, you know, uh, A, he's, he, he's, he's singing, yeah. and B, you know, Carrie, Aaron, uh, and the director, they really wanted it to not just be like, oh, Daniel's sing a song, but it's a, a, a mix of like all the things that's going on within him. So it's a very much like acting, singing song and and an interesting song choice. It, and from what, what I watched American Idol, song choice is everything. And it's like, interesting song choice, Daniel. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you and I will, and I'll move on. Neil Diamond would be proud. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say, okay? <laughs> anyway, my friend, what was it like um, you know, I can't even believe it's been two years since we got season one. And now, of course, with everything that's happened over the last year, what I love is that it's all being incorporated into this season. COVID, Black Lives Matter, like everything. I love that. What was it like for you as an actor to get these scripts and go, amen, you know, really? Mm. Exactly what you just did. There were um, uh, there were some words uh, that, you know, some of the words that Carrie Aaron gave to us like you know when i heard daniel say it or even other people say things it was just like oh my god like one things that that i really uh uh responded to from one of the other characters is oh i can't say it uh can i say it uh one of the characters really calls out someone on the show and i was like yeah. yes yes call him out and so it was you know some of those words just really felt like really true to heart and really one of the joys of working on the morning show that you, it's really relatable. Yeah, a hundred percent. What was it like to just be back with everybody, with Jen and with Reese? And now of course you have Juliana Margulies. Oh my God, like I would have just brought you all coffee just to stand there on set. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's really cool because um, not, so much, we have so many talented people, we have so many amazing people yeah. and we have such a huge variety of people, right? I mean. Can I say that? Some of the people, like, uh, like we have talent from all over, right? I don't even want to spoil it for people, but we have all kinds of amazing people and they bring different energy to the, to, to the show. But I think one of the um, amazing and exciting things, because we shot the show during COVID, that it was a totally different shooting process this year, right? I'm sure. We, we had to adapt and pivot and it was honestly amazing to see just the versatility of just like what we can do when we put our heads to it, because we really shifted and changed how we did everything. And it really, yeah. it was exciting to be there because I think that there are things that we are doing in terms of how we're shooting, as you know, as a, you know, uh, in this, in the media world that has yes. evolved our industry and we didn't expect that, right? 100%. Now, just to wrap it up, now that you've played this guy for two seasons now, hopefully many, many more to come because I really need more of this show. Do you think that you would ever want to be a journalist and working on this cutthroat type of morning show situation? Uh, let me think about this because um, I've given a lot of thought to this and no. No. 
No, no I way. You, my friend. I think you're, I honestly think y'all's job is harder, harder than ours. So I, I'm going to stick to what I've, uh, I've, I've been working on. I think that's the better place for me. Well, I have to say, you do an amazing job at it, so I'm happy that you're going to stick with that. Uh, you really are spectacular this season. You really stepped it up, and uh, thank you so much for your time, Tashawn. I love talking to you today. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye.